Hey, it's Rogerview, and welcome to another episode of Brotato. This is the Binding of Isaac mod, and today I'm going to be playing as Kane. Kane has a 8% chance of double value of picked up materials, a horrible range, uh, one lucky foot, uh, inc increased speed, uh, range modifiers are reduced horribly, and range damage is increased, and his attack speed is also reduced. So lucky foot gives a 1% chance to get one luck when picking up a material, a material, so that's actually really powerful because, you know, the more luck you get, the more powerful you are, so that's awesome. And I went for this because, well, I want more money, so I feel like this is the best option. And if this doesn't go well, then I'm, I'll just have to, you know, opt for tears, which I probably will end up doing anyways. Give me some luck. Um... Nothing useful at the moment. I guess this could be good. And then I'll take another one when I can. And yeah, trees die in one hit could also be very good. As long as I get as many materials as possible. And in order to do that, I would literally just need more enemies. So hopefully I can get like a bunch of enemies spawning. More hordes of enemies, I mean. So get this tree. Trees mean more materials, and more materials means more luck, so trees are definitely what I want to go for. Hopefully I get a lot of them. I don't know if I will, but I honestly, give me some harvesting. Trees die in one hit. Oh, what's this? Spawns a companion that flies around you and shoots enemies for 8 damage. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Well, that's a new item, though. I honestly... Yeah. In the Binding of Isaac, I don't like this item at all. It's quite a terrible item, but in this game, wow. It actually seems like it's pretty good, so... Hmm, might as well stick with it. Yeah, I don't think sticking with the um, the dagger was a good idea. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with just making as much money as possible, so... Yeah, forget about the dagger thing. But hopefully I can, like, you know, get up, get up uh, as much money as possible. Okay. My luck is at 7 at this point, that's pretty good. Give me some more luck, give me some range damage as well. There we go, that's what I needed. More enemies. And... Nothing else very good. Come on, dude. More luck the better. I will, however, take another eyeball. <laughs> Even though in The Binding of Isaac it sucks terribly, in this game it actually seems pretty good. Because it's homing and piercing, so it's actually very busted. I like it a lot. It's pretty good. Hopefully I can get more, because more of these would just be hilarious, right? Ooh, a tree. Okay, get this tree. Give me some money, that's fine. Still not as much as I'd like. I would also like um, pickup materials range to be increased to two. I feel like that would be helpful, but uh, it's fine at the moment. Um, damage, sure. Uh, dude, I don't want that. Honestly, just recycle it in hopes that I get something good here. I'm scared. This was a terrible idea, now I don't have any weapons. Oops, well, all I can do is just have this guy spin around and hopefully he'll do enough damage for me. Was this the best choice? Hell no, this was a horrible idea. But hey, I'm alive, so that's what matters. Hopefully I'll stay alive and not die, <laughs> but the chance of that happening is pretty low, but you know, it's okay. If you guys enjoy um, um, The Binding of Isaac and Brotato, hit the like button and the subscribe button. I would love to make a lot more of these videos, and I have so much fun making them. So if you want to see any specific roguelike or roguelike, or just want to see more of this game, hit the like button and I'll make a lot more. Okay, definitely give me another one of those. There we go, finally a tier. Having even one is like very good. Okay, there we go. Now they're here. I don't know why I'm picking up this one when my range sucks so bad, but it's alright. Having two of these eyeballs is better than nothing, I guess, and now I have piss on my side, so <laughs> I'll be a little safer. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get as much as many of these as possible. Okay, these dudes who shoot out projectiles are a little scarier, but I'm alive, so I'm okay. Jeez, well... 
after I play as every single character in this mod, I will definitely be making a new, making more videos on different mods on this game, because there's so many other mods that I have yet to, you know, check out that are super cool, so can't wait to check those out too. Okay, my luck is up to 20 now, that's pretty good. Give me more, I want Isaac Tears, not Piss. Piss has terrible range, I, I'm not even able to hit anything. Okay, these three are all good. Oh, four, all four of them. Dang, okay. Pretty good items so far. Yeah, so now Piss has pretty good range, so... I'm glad I have Piss now. Piss is helping out quite a lot. And once I get that extra pickup range, I'll be able to pick everything up and get even more luck. Which is super important, obviously, because luck is crucial to this guy. Kane is typically a pretty good character in The Binding of Isaac, and I have a lot of fun playing as Kane. So in this game, he's pretty fun as well. I would say he's a little more fun than Isaac. Isaac in this game is kind of mm, not the best thing to play as, I guess, because you get the D6, and it's not really as powerful as the D6 in The Binding of Isaac, because in The Binding of Isaac, the D6 is like such a broken item, but in this game, not so much. Dang, I really wish I could have gone there, but I couldn't, so. Give me some dodge, sure. Coupon, first of all. Alien tongue. This one, and then and this one, and then that one. I'm going to take the piss for now. I'll take metal detector, too. That's really OP. As long as I can get as much money as possible, I'm completely fine. Just give me all the money, and I'll be good. Okay. I mean, so far, the damage is pretty good, so. Not complaining about that. Come on, man. Just survive, and don't die, I'll be fine. Range would be great. I would love some range. Honestly. But it's alright. I'm doing good. And these monsters are dying pretty easily. Obviously, they're, um, the bigger ones are a lot scarier, because they're harder to kill, but hopefully I'll be fine. Okay, more trees would be helpful. Okay, a little overwhelmed at the moment, but I should be okay. As long as I can dodge and weave them, I'm completely fine. The money I'm making is uh, not as much as I would have expected. But, you know, hopefully I can make a little bit more. Okay, jeez. Um, 251. That's not bad. Uh, more luck, thank you. Uh, range, definitely. 61. Negative 61 range. Okay, this is really good. Because I already have 8% chance to double materials, so this is 13% chance now. No, thank you. Give me more tears. Um, more pickup range. And let's go. I should have got rid of the piss. But it's alright. I'm good. Just keep keep firing and I'll be fine. Attack speed is also good enough as to where they charge at me and I'm completely safe. Okay. Wave 9 is like one of the best to make money. So hopefully I can make tons of money this wave. Hopefully. I mean, I can't be 100% sure, but, you know, I can hope. Oh, I do want to get the luck-based um, items. The ones that do, like, oh, um, every time an enemy dies, deal damage to another enemy based on luck. And the whole pickup, uh, whatever you pick up materials, deal damage to an enemy based on luck. I need those items, because those items are really powerful with this guy. Since he gains luck, or chance to gain luck per kill. So, yeah, he'd be really good with that. But, obviously, I have to get it first. I also really want to get this guy, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Never mind, I got one of them. That's good enough, in my opinion. Okay, 473, that's pretty good. Don't need that. Um, take some regen, actually, why not? And some more luck. That's not good. Okay, Godhead. Um, hell yeah. Godhead is, like, insane. Yeah, get rid of this, too. No piss, please. And uh, more enemies, hell yeah. Anything else? Yep, another metal detector is 100% taking. Okay, Godhead is a lot better than anything else, because the insane range it has, and the insane damage as well, so hopefully I can get more Godhead. But I'm doing a lot better than I was doing a while ago, so I'm very happy about that. The damage they're doing to me isn't actually that much either. It's pretty relatively okay. I'm safe. Again, I would love those um, those luck-based um, 
you know, items, but, you know, one can hope, one can wait. So I'll wait for those and hopefully get them. If you guys are hyped for Hades 2 and, you know, games like that, Risk of Freedom Returns, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, because I will 100% make those videos as soon as those games come out. Because I'm so hyped for those games, so just you wait for that. Oh gosh, a little risky right now, but I'm going to go in, you know, get all those and hopefully not die. Ooh, that was a close one. Very close, but a 517, pretty good. Oh, there it is. 15% chance to deal 16 damage when a random enemy dies. Epic. Armor, sure. Another godhead, okay. Cycle you, give me this, and then another godhead. And we get... Oh, there it is, okay. Another lucky foot. I don't know you could do that, but sure. Another lucky foot is awesome. Now it's a 2% chance to gain luck. Hey, and more enemies, so cool. I'm also going to take this. That's also really good. <laughs> this has already become a pretty sick build. Hopefully, hopefully I can get as many lucky foots as I can for up to 5% chance, and then I can just rack up that luck like crazy. I mean, Kane is pretty much a lucky character in the Mining Lazic, so giving him this much luck is hmm, not anything different. Okay. Hey, another crate. There we go. More luck does mean more crates, more powerful items, so just, yeah, give me give me all the luck, man. Lay it all on, lay it all on me, and I'll be happy. Okay, so far, the items are pretty good. The money I'm making from this round is, you know, a lot less than I was expecting, but that's okay. It happens. Ooh, there's just a lot less enemies, that's why. Okay, she's chill. And, uh, I'm gonna run through this, and we're good. 400. That's alright. That's okay. I don't need this. Um, range, right? Yeah, that could be good. pretty good. Attracting and some of that. No thanks. Pick up range, 100%. D6. That's negative luck. But it's plus two rerolls. So that's good enough, right? I feel like two rerolls is good enough. Um, luck and harvesting. That's pretty good. I have to save that. Um, no thank you. Again, not the best items that are popping up right now. Yeah, let's just move on. <coughs> More range the better, so just give me all the range. And just keep coming at me, I'll be fine. Hopefully I'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, at this point I can stand still, but do I want to? I mean, probably not, right? Because then I might miss some trees, and that's not good. Okay. Yeah, definitely got to move now. As soon as the enemies start becoming too much, you got to move. If you don't move, you die. So, Okay, Godhead is really good, because the piercing it has. Not necessarily piercing, but the aura that's doing the insane damage to everything. The AoE of, the, of Godhead is too good. So hopefully I can get more Godhead tiers, because that would be very good. Oh god, a little overwhelming. But I'll be okay. Ooh. Made even less money this time. How'd that happen? Yeah, I made less money. Odd. No thanks. Um, dodge, sure, actually. Luck. Range. Oh, this could be really good. Definitely taking that. And once again, nothing. Inner eye. Is this range really bad? It is really bad. No thank you. I'm not taking that. I am taking these two though. <laughs> now I have these two um, orbiting around me and I have these eyes shooting out. So basically um, things don't want to get close to me because if they do they'll die. And then once I get that robot too, if something comes near me it'll automatically get like slowed. So essentially I want them to approach me. Is what's gonna happen here? Maybe I should have taken the um, the attack speed increases when you stand still, because this is basically a standstill build. Basically, but we'll see what happens. Because as soon as those things start to appear, I get scared and I run away. Because I can't defend against them. Because there's nothing you can do. You just die. 
but having that those eyeballs now is very beneficial because now I can just stand in the middle and everything that dies. I do think that item is based off of the Binding of Isaac because that would make sense, right? Because eyeballs, Binding of Isaac, tears, all that, all that type of stuff. This game does have certain references to games like that, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's the reasons there. Attack speed, hunting trophy. Do I have the crit chance? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Give me the bot and give me this. This is not good enough. Seven HP recovered from consumables, but terrible lifesteal. I don't have any lifesteal to begin with, so. Oh, Godhead, okay. Recycle you and give me that Godhead. Jeez, three Godhead. Okay, now basically nothing is gonna touch me. Hopefully, hopefully. Except these projectiles. These projectiles are looking a little scary. But it's all right. That Gelmhart is really good though, like jeez. Plus seven, that's a lot. Usually it gives you like plus one. There's an item that gives you plus one and that's pretty good. But this is plus seven. So basically if I eat something, I just instantly gain my health back. That's phenomenal. And that actually would be pretty good with some other, um, um, some other characters in Brotato. So I want to see, I want to do some experimenting with that, because that sounds like a good idea. Okay, Godhead is definitely doing the work. Putting in the work, but the money is not there still. The money is going down every time, and I don't really understand why. But it's alright. As long as my luck is going up, I'll, I'll be fine, right? Okay, 412. Damage, no thanks. Melee damage, hell no. <laughs> sure. Harvesting sell you get this keep going okay combine this get that and we keep going explosion size does not matter another bloodshot eye hell yes another luck foot okay three luck foot and three of the okay now we're talking this is pretty cool like the more in like increased tiers i can get the more luck i can get the better this becomes because again, when an enemy dies, it deals damage to another enemy based off the- Oh gosh. Okay, okay. Dude, really? Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I died to a stupid projectile. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.